All right, so we're back in, uh, I gotta come up with a name for this drum studio. Right now it's just the basement. We're back in the basement and it's time to actually tune these drums and make them sound like really dr real drums. So here's where we're starting from. I'm gonna turn the snare off and this is just the sound of the drums. I've already actually tuned the kick drum. It's all got its muffling on. And I've taken all of the muffling off of this. So you can just see where we're starting from. It's just a core sound. Um, I've done a tiny little bit of tuning before, uh, probably about a month ago, maybe even two months ago. So there's, some of them are quite out of tune. And uh, I'm gonna put them all together and then you hear the difference. Let's tune some drums. So that was fun, um, not at all, but totally worth it when you do it right. So uh, again, no muffling, so I haven't put any, I'll call it magic on the drums right now to actually get them to sound nice, but here's what we're at. These guys are called zero rings and they're intended to have the drum do zero ringing. And magically, listen to this. So still the same, I don't have anything on the snare drum. So it sounded pretty good. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is add on these little jelly things. So these are called uh, moon gels. And that's high tuning. Now I'm gonna tune everything down, uh, essentially like a quarter turn. And we're gonna see if they get a little bit more beefy. So I've detuned all the toms down in just a, probably about a quarter turn, which could be quite significant. So let's see how they sound now. I'm still gonna like go down a little lower. I want more beef. We're gonna do one more thing, that is tune this bad boy. This sounds like garbage. Well, we put the, that's how it sounds. I hit it with the stick so we can actually hear the difference. One of the reasons 
why this drum sounds so bad is because it's got broken snare wires. I don't know whether that's the core reason, but it's definitely broken. And not only is this drum not tuned well, but this looks like the stock uh, snare drum uh, snares. And changing these snares is apparently one of the biggest uh, differences you can make to the sound of a snare drum. Uh, this drum is a Gretsch, uh, which is really, really good. But I don't know what kind of Gretsch this is. So if anybody knows whether that's a knockoff or whether that's a legit Gretsch snare drum and what kind it is, uh, let me know. It looks nice. It actually does sound pretty good aside from uh, it's tuned improperly and this, it just, the snares without them being, like they're garbage. So those right there, I'm supposed to be able to take my drum key and unscrew. It's either stripped or too small, which is just bizarre um, that that wouldn't work. It's just weird. So I have to go get some tools. So this is the uh, Pure Sound Custom Pro 14 inch uh, steel coil, 20 strands. Uh, I went for the expensive one, which um, apparently it just hovers a little bit um, over top. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to the, to the video. But uh, I figured if I'm going to be getting a new uh, snare wires, um, get good ones. with uh, new snare, new snares on the bottom, properly tuned. Just put one of these guys on and... All right, so what you're looking at right now, this is the big fat snare drum. Uh, what it does is it makes your snare drum big and fat. And so I've got a pretty high tuned uh, snare drum here. And then this one's a little bit fatter anyway, just in, in lower tuning, uh, looser uh, snare strands. I'm gonna play it real quick without the big fat snare drum, and then I'm gonna put it on and we'll see how it sounds. That's a big fat snare drum. 